Alright Oliver, continuing on in episode 7 here is our moon ground base build and I'm going to keep this one as short as possible. You can uh, kind of pause it along the way to see if there's something that uh, you want to mimic. As far as what I'm doing, I tend to use the fairings to create a, an illusion of more habitable space for uh, my stations, sort of a make-believe thing. but. Not everything, not all the parts in the game are are exactly realistic, so you have to uh, make do with what you got. The idea, of course, being that the, the bigger the base is, the more the more habitable space and work area your Kerbal astronauts have, so it's a little bit more realistic. You can't send three guys up in an Apollo capsule and keep them there for months and months on end. You know, maybe a week or two is possible. I mean, that's one thing, but for months it's a little bit absurd. And since I put everything on a 45 degree angle here, it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt to make the landing gear, so I end up stopping what I'm doing and um, building them a separate way and then putting them together in the right place at the end. One of the reasons I put them at a 45 degrees <clears throat> angle is to keep them out of the way of the hatch so that the Kerbals could actually exit the station and get to the lunar surface. And of course, this is all in preparation for our Mars colony. So this is just a practice run to see kind of what it takes to colonize to the level that you want to colonize. And hopefully in KSP2 we get to, to do that. And I hope that it's a little bit easier as far as their vehicle assembly building and the parts that they give us and the latitude that we have with the parts to make them larger or smaller. It might, I don't know if that's just going to be like wings that you can make larger or smaller or if it's going to be other parts as well. I'm hoping it's other parts as well. And I'm cheating by putting the antenna inside. In Kerbal it still functions the same. Um, but it's cheating because now that it's inside the fairing, it's not going to be getting hit with wind resistance, so I don't have to worry about it breaking apart. That particular antenna is very easy to break when you're flying with it open in the atmosphere. I've broken quite a few of them flying out to Lathe, one of the moons of Jewel or Jupiter, and a few on Mars. So, in this respect, I just wanted it out of the way because. The ground base, I'm going to add a, a tower antenna next to the station once we get the station placed. So we don't. The antenna in this station is simply for the, or the, the purpose of flying the station remotely to get it to the moon without any Kerbals on board. And now I'm assembling the thruster, the landing thruster assembly. So I'm using the small tanks and I'm going to make four of them here. I'm going to turn down, I'm to turn down the thrust limiter so that it's not too powerful. And then you just uh, you hit Alt and copy and it, or click on it, left click on it, it'll copy the part, and then you use the QE AWSD keys to maneuver that part into an orientation you want so that you can place it. And now that the base is built, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the rest of the rocket underneath it to get it up and out of carbon atmosphere into orbit and then up to the moon circularize the orbit and then the thrusters and tank assembly at the top are going to do the rest of the work to get it down to the surface safely and then we can jettison that and send it off to oblivion so that just our base remains.
So it is a pretty large base. Uh, what you're looking at as far as the first stage right now is the entire first stage of the Apollo 11 plus another half stage and then we're going to still put solid rocket boosters on it. So it's technically a ridiculous sized single launch vehicle. We should have built the station in two parts but that would be a little bit too hard to do as far as landing on the moon and getting them assembled. So we're just going to cheat and build a ridiculous sized rocket or a ludicrous rocket as I like to say. The Tesla ludicrous mode. This would probably melt the launch pad altogether. <laughs> 